Hey guys, it's Carol Lee with Coaching with Carol Lee. Yeah, different environment. I'm in my bedroom. It's so cold out, I just want to be in my nice cozy room. My green walls, which are all comfy, um, mellow. So, anyways, um, I decided just to do a real quick, quick video to show you my new toy I just got in the mail. Fidget Cube. Check it out. It's like a big die, and it's got all kinds of things for people that like to fidget. It's got like the light switch type thing. Switch, switch, switch. It's got this thing. These I love. This thing, I may not be able to show you correctly because it's hard to see, but it spins around. Um, what didn't I do? Oh, this one's just plain, but it's like, it's got a smooth impression thing, so you just, just kind of a comforting feeling. And I think probably my favorite is the ball. Um, I get, I guess it's, um, what do you call it? Uh oh, I just forgot the name. Oh, the thing, oh, carpal tunnel. I guess, um, you know, I was getting like, um, sleepy hands or whatever, numb. And I was told it was beginning of carpal tunnel, but you know, hey, who's got time to take get that taken care of, right? But anyway, sometimes it gets um, they get numb feeling, and sometimes my joints hurt. Who knows why? And this little ball thing goes around and around, and it just feels really good on my fingers. And then these other things on top, they yeah, right. See, I'm not fidgety enough, but they like kind of click and move and stuff like that. Um. So I thought this was, like, really cool. I didn't buy it for me, except I might play with it anyways, right? <laughs> no, I got it. Um, I figured for my kids that I work with um, during the day, and I might even suggest it to some adults that I coach at night, because, um, you know, hey, sometimes you just need something, like one of those cushy ball things, what do you call them? A stress ball. Um, you know, just sometimes you kind of have something to do. And, um... <coughs> Excuse me. From what I understand is some teachers will allow this kind of stuff in the classroom so that fidgety kids, sometimes they concentrate better with these. You know, as long as they got their, you know, I'm looking over there like pretending I'm looking as a teacher, right? But you got your little fidgety thing and it's a lot easier to kind of concentrate when you got something to do rather than jumping up and down in your seat and fidgeting around, whatever. If you got something to do here... It could help, um, you know, a child in the classroom. This one, it, you know, I don't know if you can hear. It makes a little bit of noise, but it's not real bad. Now, I guess if you had a whole class of kids with ADHD that was playing with fidget cubes, it could be really be a little stressful, but I don't know. I think one or two kids, I'd probably just, like, ignore the little bit of noise if they would just, like, please sit down, right? I mean, that's what you want. When you have a room full of 30, 40 kids, you would like them all to be, like, nice and mellow. And that's just not reality. You know, kids want to go out. They want to play. It's like, don't make me sit in the seat. So at least if you give them something to fool around with, you know. And um, this was about $7, the total price and shipping. It comes from China or somewhere, you know. Took probably three weeks to get it. Quite a while. But... You know, but they start out at like a dollar each. Um, I got one. The shipping itself was like three bucks, I think. I think this was like four dollars, three ninety nine. Um, but I like the color. I like what things they have. Can you see it closer? And we're you got that smooth side. You got the little ball and the clicky thingies. And there was even a warranty with it, so I have to send it in. If it breaks down, I'll get my $4 cube. So, anyways, um, like I said, I got this on Wish, but there are other sources. It's really pretty cool. Um, it might be something that you might consider if you have a child with ADHD or if you do. Um, you know, as I'm talking, I'm sitting here playing with it. It is fun. Um, so anyways, it might be something to consider if you need... You know, a fidgety, whatever, whatever, you know? Whatever. I love the word whatever, right? 
I sure do. Um, used to get me in a lot of trouble, though. You know, I'd say, oh, whatever. And, um, yeah. A certain ex would say, do you know what that means? That means you're saying the F word, you. And, and it's like, no, I'm really not. I'm just, okay, whatever. Either I don't want to argue. It doesn't mean F you. I don't want to argue. It just means, okay, you know, whatever. Or sometimes I just say whatever because I say whatever. If you watch my videos, you know I say whatever all the time, right? Whatever. Okay. <laughs> just being silly tonight, right? Okay, so anyways, I'm going to go. I just got home from work a little while ago. You see the hair. Um, I was in what I call the Windy City of New York. Oswego. <laughs> My Oswego friends are like, mm -hmm. I don't think I've ever been up there when it hasn't been windy. And it was really cold out today, too. Um, I took a child to the library and it's like, get out of the car. Well, I almost flew away. So, all right. Anyways, Ramona, if you're watching, there's my dream catcher. If anybody wants a dream catcher, my friend Mona makes them. So, okay, anyways, I'm just going on and on because I haven't been here in so long. But I want to let you guys know I love you. I've just been really, really busy. And um, I'll probably be a little busier because I'm finally taking that certification class. <laughs> Starting probably Friday. So, I might be really busy the next couple weeks, but I will check in every now and then, okay? All right, talk to you later. Bye.